all right so hello welcome to the channel my name is Vasita I'm a mom to two amazing children I'm also a nurse and on this channel I share everything concerning parenting lifestyle health tips and lots more if you're interested in today's video please keep watching as parents we owe our children the best quality um, when it comes to education and a lot of things in life <laughs> parenting is a big deal and if you're someone who is passionate about getting it right with your children you know that you need to find every means to get or choose the right school for them in today's video i'll be helping you list out various factors to consider when choosing a school for your child now i'll also show you the different angles to this so that it can help you think and um, enable you make that good choice when it comes to choosing a school for your child in no particular order i'll start with the location of the school now location of the school has to do with um the distance from the school to your house would you want to choose a school that is close to the house or close to your office that's another angle to it another factor you should consider is who is dropping off this child are you going to be doing the drop off yourself will your husband do it or any other important person in your life probably grandma or grandpa you can also say you want to go with the choice of dropping the child off by yourself if that's the case you have to consider do i want to choose a school that is close to my workplace or one that is close to my house which would be a better option for you put in mind that when choosing a school for your child you have to consider accessibility how quick can i get to school to pick up my child in case of an emergency or if they call me now um hey your child is sick the child is in the sick bay however we want you to come over so you need that to be a a distance where you can easily get to or your significant other or whoever is going to be involved in caring for that child for you man this should be someone you trust because trust with your child at the end of the day with that being said, um, next thing we'll talk about is budget. What's your budget for your child's school? Before even going to check for a school for your child, you should just sit down and write out what are your expectations? What do you require in a school that will meet your own standard? Spell it out. Okay, I want a school that has this and that, that and that, so, so and so. And once you have your criteria, you've listed it out first. Then you go to hunt for a school. Okay, don't go to a school and then see what they have and then adapt it to yourself. No, you are the one paying. Okay, so you should, the school should meet up to your own standard. So that's another thing. Then the school environment. When you check the school environment, look out for safety. Check if the playground is in a safe zone. And if the equipment that your child will be playing with, they are safe or they are already worn out. Yes, you need to check. <laughs> you need to check. Trust me on this one. You need to check. Also check the toilets, like the convenience, where your child is going to take a dump or something. You need to check to see if it's okay so that your child doesn't fall sick or come down with some sort of infection. It happens. I mean, as a practicing nurse, there's been times when I've been in the clinic and a parent has had to bring their child because of maybe UTI, urinary tract infections and all that. So check. Also check the level of hygiene. How do they clean the classrooms, the restrooms how often do they use this how often do they do this rather so it's very important to check those things uh i'll say you should look into the curriculum 
the curriculum is what the school is going to use to raise your child academically and otherwise so you need to see what's the standard of this school i remember there was this time <laughs> let me just share this experience you know uh, we took our child to his school to check and we saw the curriculum. Okay. When you look at this curriculum, question things. Don't just take it. Okay. It's a British Nigerian curriculum. It's a Nigerian American curriculum. Blah, blah, blah. Look into it. This is your um, curriculum. What is it going to offer my child? Is it going to meet my expectations? Is it going to help the child grow? What are you doing for me? So that you don't just go and take your child to a school that has a, a glorious name. But at the end of the day, <laughs> it has nothing to offer other than a big name. Okay? So sit down and check the school um, curriculum. What are the values of the school? What are their morals? What are their belief system? Now, to help you to, uh, um, when it comes to their values and morals, ask questions ask questions about these things also um do a review on the school ask parents that have taken their children there talk to them and see what they have to say about the school browse and get what information is out there on the school see the morals and belief of a school is going to affect the school check the school's motto what is the motto of the school is it power and strength? <laughs> power and strength can be a school motto. Knowledge is wisdom. <laughs> See, I check all those things. Some schools they have mottos like um, excellent. And I believe, I'm a firm believer in things that, in, 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 in the fact that what you say or your name has an effect on a lot of things. Okay. A school whose motto is excellent, you could would i want my child to have excellence in everything or discipline discipline is power hmm. they discipline your child in that school eh? <laughs> you understand anyway on a lighter note a lighter note yes so consider their values the belief system of the school what do they hold high does it align with your own belief system is this what you expect or want your child to achieve? So these are certain factors to consider. Um, I touched the subject of discipline. It's very important that our children are disciplined, but in the right way. So ask them, how do you discipline children that behave in a funny way or that when situation arises? Ask them, you know, some will tell you, okay, we give, we tell them to clean you know, they do um, community service, they do this, supervised this, this and that. Ask them in detail so that when things come up, because trust me, things will come up. And they'll say, oh yes, this is our school policy. But you were not aware, you didn't check. So please check. <laughs> Once they give you the school handbook, say you've chosen a school, they give you the school handbook. Read it, check there are terms and conditions. Is it terms and conditions? Let's say terms and conditions when it comes to school. Okay, I don't know. But check the school policy if you're okay with it. If it's something you want. And if it's something you can cope with. Also, remember to ask them. How do you discipline your teachers? Yes! It's not only children that need to be disciplined. There are teachers that will go contrary to what the school has said they should do or teachers that just don't act right. How does the school hold this teacher account, um, accountable for their actions? So think about it. Ask them questions. Ask questions. Ask que don't assume. <laughs> don't assume. Next I'll talk about is time. What's the resumption time? What's the closing time? Do they have after school care, after school service? Do you have to pay extra for this? Talk to them about it and find out. Extracurricular activities. 
yes yay field trips and the likes ask them what extracurricular activities do you do in this school how do you do it does it cost extra mm -hmm. yes um you just get one memo one day you sit in the house i get one paper mommy they said we are going to zuma rock <laughs> and we need to pay hundred thousand each <laughs> Please ask them, okay, so that you are better informed. Parenting is something, it's a big deal. And we owe our children the best because they can't think for themselves. We are the one doing the thinking for them. We are the one doing everything for them. So, next, that brings me to my next um, tip, get involved get involved get involved with what your child does in class when they come back from school pick up their books check what did you do today call their teachers yes call them ask them how is my child faring i need to know duh you're paying and this is your child right so check what they did in school follow up with their homework even if you're going to um, assign someone to do it, or if you're a hands-on person and you enjoy doing this yourself, fine, by all means, do it. But keep on asking questions. Follow up with your class, with your, 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 your child's um, teacher and assistant teacher. Hmm? Ask them, how is my child doing in this area? Is she doing well? Is he doing well? Is he adjusting well to this school? In case you just took their child to that school, probably in another school. So you need to ask all those questions and make sure that your child is progressing mm? Mm? then ask them how many pupils do we have do you take per class <laughs> is it going to be per class that um as more people come or just dump them dump them and then you find out that if it's something like that your child may get lost in the crowd so make sure that the the class arrangement just i think a class of five to seven is fine if you if you you know if they have a, a class with a maximum of let's say 10 i think it's okay and then two teachers minimum a teacher and an assistant is fine um so thanks for watching i think i'll stop here if you're interested in more tips you can comment down below i'll make another video and just share with me more parenting tips that you use to help you choose a school for a child. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. It helps the channel grow. And I'll see you in my next video. If you've watched to this, um, to this part of the video, thank you so, so much. Please, let me drop a, a flower emoji. Just a little rose so that I'll know you got to this point. Thank you. See you in my next video.